My name is Nanette and I've been with the Gold Coast Potters Association for 33 years. This is a functional tea bowl, so although it's extremely decorative, it can also be just used as it for everyday use, which has a, a, a charm to it. What reflects the influence that Celadon Glaze had on many of the potters uh, during the 70s and 80s? So the glaze has an appeal for me, as well as the person who made the work. It was made by one of our very, very early members in 1977, and her name was Ruth Lyons. Well, I guess the story behind the pot would be that Ruth had a vision. She decided to get a group of like-minded potters together and form an association or form a group to start a Gold Coast National Ceramic Art Award. So she wasn't just a potter for her own satisfaction, she was a potter that wanted to get ceramic art out into the wider audience. Ruth was a life member of the Gold Coast Potters Association and here is a photograph that I'm looking at when she was presented by Kathy Sullivan um, for the Moncrief Community Award. This pot has been thrown on a wheel, it's been formed from porcelain clay which is a very fine white bodied clay in the drying process, Ruth, Ruth has cut in this design that you see here. She's cut that in with a special tool. And then, after that firing, this celadon glaze, which is very beautiful, um, has been applied to the pot. This pot represents for me and the Gold Coast Potters Association the dream Ruth had of continuing or developing the art of ceramics in the community. And we look at this and realise this is the start of so much of awareness and appreciation of ceramic on the Gold Coast. But it's also a continuation of her dream and that's what it means for our association.